This is uh, our president, Barack Obama, last Saturday night at the Human Rights Campaign. I think in 18 seconds, and you're free to disagree with me, Dr. MacArthur, but I think in 18 seconds, President Obama has totally undermined, redefined the moral foundation of our nation with this uh, 18-second uh, statement. Here it is. You will see a time in which we as a nation finally recognize relationships between two men or two women as just as real and admirable as relationships between a man and a woman. How would Jesus confront Barack Obama on that statement? Oh, that was really helpful, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, that's what I expect from him. He, he's a non-Christian who has no interest in Christ, no interest in God, no interest in the Bible in spite of attending a church in the past. Uh, it means also that he doesn't submit himself to the authority of Scripture. He has no interest in submitting himself to the traditional laws and traditional prohibitions of the American people, which, of course, are founded on, on Scripture. I think it's just one more indicator that the man is committed to literally overturning everything this country has ever believed in and ever been built to uh, to affirm and accomplish. But I think when it comes to the political side, I don't think Jesus ever said anything about politics. He, he, he never attacked a politician in his entire life. But what he would do is he would expose the immorality and and all of a sudden, when when Obama says something like that, he has left the area of politics and he's entered the realm of theology. In other words, he is now attacking scripture. That's that's not mm -hmm. politics. That's not Republican and Democratic politics. That's not economic policy. That's not you know what kind of health care we're going to have. Now you have you have decided that you're going to be the sovereign over morality. And when you decide you're going to be the sovereign over morality, you've just set the Bible aside, you've set God aside, that's a scary posture to take. Because you, you now are the new God with the new sovereignty who will tell us what the new morality is. Jesus would see that for what it is, an assault on, on biblical truth. We're going to march to the front of the gay pride parade in our town. And if there is a single person claiming the name of Christ with some sort of hate speech or sign or anything else, we will stand in the gap and in the fray. We will stand in that place. And people will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we love without reservation or without self-protection in mind. We love with a reckless self-abandonment. Sounds a lot like Jesus, doesn't it?